Hi, I'd like to introduce you to Kooks Tunes for XBMC. It is a rich internet application built on Kooksdo, and it allows you to manage your XBMC music library much like iTunes does. So here you can see I've just loaded up my library and uh, you can see there's a very responsive interface uh, in terms of how fast you can scroll through these tables even though I've got some 16,000 songs in the library I can move through it very quickly as if the files were local uh, and I credit you know Kooks do for all this capability um, you can your, your table is very flexible you can disable columns as you see I've dropped a couple columns out I can resize these columns and these settings will stick with you via cookie so that when you come back the way you've got your your column set up will, will uh, be restored uh, here I'm kinda customizing it to the way I like to look at my music library and uh, you can see that columns that spill off are accessible via horizontal scroll and all the columns are fully sortable we can sort on song name artist uh, album anything it's it's you know very uh, very flexible in that regard there's search capability so here I've searched for cure but that's a little bit broad because there are songs and album titles that match that But if I want to match the band the cure I can select artist specifically match against artist and here you see uh, a fairly substantial collection of cure music I'm giving away some of my musical taste here here's a band dive and I can edit the info. This looks very familiar if you're used to iTunes. Uh, you can you know, cycle through the songs and look at the information. Where available, the artwork will show up here. And we can actually make edits to that information. Uh, for example, here's a band, or here's a song that was miscatalogued, and the artist was listed as compilation, and the artist's name showed up in the, the song title. So I'm going to correct a few of these things here correct the, the song name and go, on, go ahead and save that and you notice it's no longer where it was in the list because it's now moved under secret Cajun band in the sort order and we can still find it and we can take a look at it and you see that the information that I set has been updated you can also make bulk edits so if you wanted to make changes to a number of songs at one time for example, my estimation cataloging Octung Baby as rock would be wrong, so let's move it to alternative. And just like in iTunes, if you're going to uh, modify multiple tracks at once, there's a little checkbox next to each field that you want to apply to the entire group. And so now all of those tracks in the Octung Baby album are marked as alternative. There's full playlist management. Um, XBMC doesn't have fantastic playlist capabilities, but it does allow for M3U files, and those can be filed in different folders. And XBMC is gracious enough to honor, you know, arbitrary depths in that in that organization. So we can put our playlist into multiple folders, and so you can see a couple playlists that I've got built out, and so we can see the tracks in there we can select the tracks and edit them right from the playlist view and we can go create a new playlist and so I'm going to create one of you know a playlist maybe of songs I want to put on my phone and so I can go and I can find dive and drag their tracks into the playlist I'm going to throw on some foals and I can put that on the playlist as well I can drag to reorder tracks in the uh, playlist. I can select them and delete them. Um, you know, it's it's pretty pretty flexible in terms of the edit capabilities. So I'll pull a couple of these tracks out and move some to the top here. So you can see the drag and drop capabilities. When we're done, it'll take us back to the playlist view. We can select our playlist. And we can see the tracks that are in there. Now, how do I get those to my phone? Well, there's a couple options. One. Uh, First of all, you can see that uh, we can cycle through the, the tracks in the playlist just as if they were in the library. And you can see the album uh, artwork there. So if we want to pull these down, 
to a device or to a computer, doesn't matter where you want to put them. Um, we can select them and we can export them, which will put them in a designated folder on your XBMC machine. So I've already made that available as a Samba share. So under my Open, open Elec uh, host, I've got a Samba share. And now you see the dive and the falls tracks available on that Samba share. So I could just go ahead and import those into iTunes on my Mac if I wanted to, or drag them onto an SD card. You can also download them. If I download them, um, they are pulled down in a zip file. Um, and it looks like maybe the aspect ratio here is cutting off the, the zip file. You can't quite see it down there in the bottom of my browser, but it's pulling down a zip file with all 10 tracks in it. And sometimes it can take a little while, depending on the size and quality of your uh, MP3s or your uh, AAC files. And of course, the speed of your, your XBMC host. And once I've got that pulled down, uh, I can open that zip file, and then within you'll see the same sort of file structure that you would have seen in the exports, where uh, if we look in the downloads, we'll unpack this zip archive. We can see there's a folder, and inside is dive and folds, and the albums and the tracks that are, that are uh, contained within. So you can see this opens up a lot of possibilities for a whole household to share a library on an XBMC host and be able to manage and transfer those files where you need to get them.